Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our choral concert this spring. It's lovely to see you all. You brought some sunshine into this dreary spring day. That's going to give us some beautiful flowers and great grass. Correct, right, guys? Yes. They're very excited right now. Can you see? <laughs> They've got their, their stage faces on. But I really want to thank you very much from the bottom of my heart, as a musician myself, to see how much you support the arts. And just by your presence and going to the festivals all over the state, and these early morning rehearsals at 7.15, I mean, that is a true, uh, true act of, of courage and love at that early morning so they can make music. So I am very excited for tonight's concert. It's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Kevin Fisher and his ensembles, but before I do, safety first. So in case of an emergency, please look. We have exits here, here, here. Um, and if there's anything, we will guide you to, to safety. So go Hawks, Maestro, show's on.
to the summertime, the species is covered on a show as like American Idol in the voice. It is, original, it is originally from the opera Porgy and Bess, but was reworked for jazz and performed by Ella Fitzgerald. Our, first piece is, our, our next piece is Pick Yourself Up, Another Standard. Thank you. 
Bitcoin coins to the money.
I Dream the World. The lyrics are derived from a poem written by Langston Hughes. Andre Thomas set the poetry to music and dedicated the piece to victims of September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. Anima Me, which is sung completely in Hebrew. The text for Anima Me, which means I believe, comes from Maimonides, 13th article of faith. The melody's origin is unknown and likely comes from Eastern Europe. This song has many variants, both in text and tune. This song gained its great significance during the Holocaust when thousands of Jews sang this song as they marched to their deaths in gas chambers. The lyrics mean I believe, with complete belief, in the coming of the Messiah. Even though he may tarry, even so, I believe. The 8th grade chorus is planning to sing this piece in Washington, D.C. next week before entering the United States Holocaust Museum.
Our next piece is Holding On, which, is, which was originally intended to be performed in a musical theater setting. Pay close attention to the repeating lyrics and their meaning. We had class discussions on potential meanings. Someone who is coping with major loss, someone suffering with their own me mental health, and just simply reflecting on the values and important things in life. Evelyn Warren, Jessica Day, Juliana Megan, Sophia Finnef, Zoe Sternberg, and Megan Howard are featured soloists in, in that order.
for our last song. Um, Mr. Robbins and I started a uh, honor society back about a year ago, and it really never kicked off as well as we would have liked to. We'd like to um, honor those students that were uh, accepted and that did a year of service. So the Triumph Music Honor Society is an international program dedicated to the recognition of exceptional musical students in grades 6 to 12 who meet music, academic, leadership, and character criteria. It is designed to recognize students for their accomplishments and service activities and to inspire other students to excel at music and leadership. While the Honor Society is, in fact, that an Honor Society, not a club, Mr. Robbins and I would like to recognize these chorus students on their incredible year of service and for all they have given to the music department in the past year or years. We are hoping this Honor Society really kicks off next year. Please hold your applause until all names are read. You guys can come down to the front. Trey Baker, Morgan Burrard, Emma Kate, Isabella Shalaboy, Joey Cronin, Adam Day, Amaya Eaton, Jenna Gorton, Sophie Hodge, Lydia Hong, Megan Howard, Lark Johnson, Josh Jones, Cheyenne Kay, Evelyn Morin, Joseph Bukowski, Madison Campbell Cantellis, Sophia Fanuff, Zoe Sternberg, and Jonathan Uber. Thank you. 